<laughs> Good morning, Blue. <laughs> Your macaw is Behind every innovation is an inspired scientist. And behind every PBS program is a viewer like you. Get behind your PBS station. Your support makes a difference. During the following program, look for NOVA's web markers, which lead you to more information at our website. Ever since I was a little girl, seeing Star Wars for the first time, I've been fascinated by this idea of personal robots. And as a little girl, I loved the idea of a robot that interacted with us much more like a helpful, trusted sidekick, something that would delight us, enrich our lives, and help us save a galaxy or two. So I knew robots like that didn't really exist, but I knew I wanted to build them. So 20 years pass. I am now a graduate student at MIT studying artificial intelligence. The year is 1997, and NASA has just landed the first robot on Mars. But robots. They're still not in our home, ironically. And I remember thinking about all the reasons why that was the case. But one really struck me robotics had really been about interacting with things, not with people. Certainly not in a social way that would be natural for us and would really help 
uh, have people accept robots into our daily lives. For me, that was the white space. That's what robots could not do yet. And so that year, I started to build this robot